Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the page pass for your ClickFunnels funnel, so let's just get straight into it. Now, the first thing that you need to understand about how ClickFunnels works is you need to understand the structure of a funnel itself, so that way you can understand how these page paths URLs work, because if you don't understand this, you're gonna be like, why does my URL not make sense, and it's not what I changed it to, and all that stuff. So, understand this real quick, and then we'll go into ClickFunnels and change the page pass so you see how to do it. So, click funnels is broken down into basically three different levels so you have a funnel level which encompasses your entire funnel and there's like settings there that you can go ahead and adjust and you can set a page path for your funnel we'll do that in just a second here and within your funnel you have different steps so you might have an opt-in page a welcome page a sales page etc and these are steps within your funnel and each step has a page path that you can direct people to or send people to a step page path and I'll show you that in just a second here and then within each step you're gonna have different variations and each variation also has its own unique page path so there's three different areas where you can go ahead and change a page path at the funnel setting at the step settings and then each variation has its own unique page path that you can go ahead and set and whatever you set at the variation level that's going to be the page path people see in their address bar. So the variation page path is probably the most important one because that's the one people will see uh, in their address bar. So we'll go through and I'll show you all three locations where you change the funnel or the, the page paths and you'll see exactly how it works. So let's come over to click funnels and the first thing we want to go ahead and do is change our funnel level page path. And that's right here in the blue area under settings. So we click into settings here. And we see right here we have the opportunity to change the path. So I'm just gonna say this is funnel or funnel EX. So this is my page path here, funnel EX, and I come on down here and you wanna make sure you hit save and update settings. So I do that real quick. And now if I go ahead and copy my funnel page path, which is just clicking this little copy thing right here, and I come up here and I throw it into my address bar, we see I got my domain, and then my page path is funnel EX. So if I go to it real quick, what it's gonna do is it's going to automatically forward this individual to the first step in my funnel. And the first step is my lead gen step here. So it automatically forwards them to that first step in my funnel. And then it's going to forward them from there to one of my variations. So I have two variations here. And so if I was running a split test, click funnels would separate out some, you know, 50% of my traffic goes to this variation and 50% goes to this other variation. So that's essentially how the flow works. It goes from the funnel down to the step and then down to the variation, just like I showed you in that picture a second ago. So right now we're at the step settings and we see this is a URL for this particular step. So if I copy this URL and I paste it up here and I send somebody to it, uh, it'll automatically forward them to one of the variations that I have. And you see that it automatically updated my page path because it forwarded me to a variation of that particular step. And as you'll notice, every single step in your funnel has its own page path. So if you wanted to send somebody to the welcome and pre-sale page, for example, instead of taking them to the lead gen page, I could go ahead and just send them straight to the pre-sale page following the step path. So here we are straight to the welcome and pre-sale page of my funnel. Same concept with like order form. If I wanted some, somebody straight to the order form, I just go ahead and copy that page path, send it to them and so on. And you'll notice that it automatically forwards people to the particular variation. So anyway, coming back up here to the lead gen step, we'll go ahead and edit the page path by going to publishing now. So click on publishing and we see that we can go ahead and edit the path. So I'll call it funnel X and then lead and then go ahead and click on update funnel step. And we now see that the step path has been updated to funnel X lead gen. So if I sent somebody to that link, it automatically, you know, again, forward them to a particular variation within that funnel step, which is why we end up with this crazy looking uh, page path right here. So coming back in here, the third place we need to go ahead and update our page path is at the variation level. And to do that, we click this little gear icon down here. And we see that that's where that lead gen 16819 number comes from 16819118 so that's where that page path is coming from and that's where we got to go ahead and change it so what i'd probably do is just call it funnel x lead a for variation a and i'd go ahead and update the page real quick and then over here i'd go ahead and call it funnel x lead b for variation b go ahead and update page there so now if i go ahead and send somebody to this particular step path and we paste it in here and it'll automatically take them 
to a variation. And in this case, it brought them to variation A. And so that's how you change the page path that people are seeing when they land on your pages. You have to edit the variation. And I'm gonna do it again real quick so you can see it again. Uh, so let's come down here. We'll go to the welcome and pre-sell page. And I'll go into publishing real quick just to change my step path. You don't have to change your step path if you don't want to, but if you wanna make it a little prettier, you go ahead and change your step path. And I'll go ahead and just do funnel X welcome. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and update funnel step. So now my welcome and pre-sell page has a prettier page path. And then I wanna come down here to the variation. Again, we go ahead and click on gear here and we see that it's welcome, pre-sell, blah, 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 kind of ugly, sloppy looking thing. I'll go ahead and do uh, variation A, even though there's only one variation, I'll just go ahead and call it variation A and update page. And now if I send somebody to this link here, we see that it'll automatically forward them to variation A of my welcome and pre-sale page and I have a much prettier looking page path up here compared to whatever ClickFunnels automatically assigned. So I just realized I didn't explain something and that is that each page path has to be unique. You can't use the same page path for your funnel or your steps or your variants. They all have to be unique page paths. So what I mean is, let's say that I have my welcome and pre-sale page and I change my step path to funnel X welcome and I think that's pretty and clean and I come to my variant here and I have that hyphen A here for variation A. Now, I know a lot of people might not want that hyphen A in their page path. Again, the variant page path is the one that shows in the address bar. So if you don't want it showing hyphen A for variation A, well then you need to remove that hyphen A. So if I went in here and I deleted that hyphen A and I had funnel X welcome and I hit update page, so it was the same page path as my funnel step. Well, if I come back over here, we see that ClickFunnels automatically gave us some random numbers here at the end. That's because they have to be unique. Okay, so if you're running into an issue where your page paths are different than what you're setting them as, it's likely because they're not unique. So ClickFunnels is adding numbers to the end of your page paths to make them unique. So if I wanted to do Funnel X Welcome for my variation, I'd have to change my step path first. So I could come in here and I could call my, my Funnel Step Path uh, I might throw a dash S or something like that for my funnel path or my step path. Sorry, my step path is dash S. Now I could come in here and I could delete out that 166 whatever, update it real quick. And then if I go ahead and send somebody to my, my step, it'll automatically forward them to my cleaner page path where it's funnel X welcome. So I just want to point that out real quick that if you're running into an issue where ClickFunnels is adding random numbers and you're not sure where they came from, it's because you have a duplicate of a page path somewhere. And it could be anywhere in your ClickFunnels account. So if you have the same step path in another funnel, uh, well, it's going to conflict with this other funnel that you have set up. So if you're getting random numbers, it's because you have a duplicate somewhere in your ClickFunnels account. Hopefully this helps. And so that's how you do it. Again, you have the page path at the funnel settings, which again is in the blue area. Then you can go ahead and edit the page path at the step level, which is when you click the publishing. And then you need to go ahead and ed edit the page path at the variation level, which you get by going to the gear. And again, the variation level is the page path that people see in their address bar. So if you only could edit one page path, I would go ahead and just make sure your variations are nice and pretty as that's the one people are gonna see in their address bar. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.